plummet, what happens is that that's your tax base at the county level, right? Okay, so you have to cut back on schools, you have to cut back on public safety, fire, um, the police force. Um, we didn't get the officers that we wanted. We didn't get the firemen we wanted. We didn't get the equipment we wanted. We didn't get the teachers we wanted. And so not only do we deal with this reputation for racial discord, but we also have a reputation as a community that's de-investing in itself. So we were trying to overcome all those things, but culturally what happened was that the homeowners left, the speculators came in and bought these homes that had been $200,000, bought them for 65000 wait for them to come up. In the meantime, they're renting them. And they're renting them to people who look exactly the same, speak exactly the same, all of the same exact new immigrant characteristics. So we really achieved very little. And then one more thing, <laughs> it's hilarious, is that when this crime statistics came out, you know, and it showed some really disturbing things, not only higher murder and rape and all that stuff, but um, severe underreporting and things like domestic violence and aggravated assault uh, because people were afraid to report crimes, right? Um, especially aggravated assault is something where Latinos were the victims, not the perpetrators. Because the criminals know that Latinos don't, the new immigrants don't necessarily have the ability to have a bank account, so they're often carrying cash. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we found that for all the millions of dollars we spent, less than 2% of the people that the police encountered were undocumented immigrants. So then you take that less than 2% and you hand to Immigration and Customs Enforcement you know, a flow of people who are guilty of broken taillights. And our taxpayer dollars at the federal level pay for a certain finite number of beds in these facilities. And so ICE looks at, okay, I have a drug dealer, a rapist, and a soccer mom. I'm going to release the soccer mom. So we paid all of that taxpayer money to give the soccer mom a tour of ICE, comes back in five months or less, and traumatizes a family. Yes, sir. Well, this is a little off topic, but I'll respond. Well, just, so, yeah, um, President Bush, John McCain, and Ted Kennedy tried really hard to pass an immigration bill in '06 and '07, and um, Bush, you know, was right about that. He made a big mistake by essentially calling everyone who opposed his bill a racist, <laughs> pissing a lot of people off. Um, the reason why it didn't pass was exactly the kind of smoke and mirrors that you saw in my county where people were just doing automated faxes and sending lots of emails and creating the illusion of a widespread um, you know, opposition to immigration reform. Um, if, you know, if it's really that big of a percentage, even in the Republican Party, who is you know, hungry for a culture war over immigration, then why was John McCain our nominee? It's not, not our nominee, but the Republicans' nominee in 2008. The number of Republicans who put culture war at the top of their list is tiny. It's just that they're very, very loud. So after Bush failed to pass the bill, he did exactly that. He began attacking our economy. He began attacking our economy not long before our economy tanked. 
So I would submit to you that attacking ourselves as a nation or as a county is not the right thing to do. Okay? Let me, let me finish. The reason why we have sugar on the floor is that if our economy didn't have that labor force, it would collapse. We have to have those workers here. We have to fix our immigration system so that we can meet our labor demand. If we didn't have those workers, we would, if we don't fix this problem, let me put it this way. The ratio we have right now of, I think we have two workers for every one senior citizen who's on social programs, okay? We need it to be five for our government to be solvent. So we're in the wrong category, you know, we're in the red right now, okay? If we can't embrace the fact that we're a nation of immigrants, regardless of what color the skin of the immigrants are, we're gonna see the baby boomers retire and that ratio get worse. At the same period that Europe and Japan and other economies that we're competing with face the same problem. If we're no longer the beacon that immigrants want to come to 10, 20 years from now, and they go to Japan and to the European Union instead, we're through. So let's move on to local issues. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, that's being covered. 